Louder now. Louder now by taking back fucking Sunday. <laughs> I was in so I was in my sophomore year of high school. So I think that was justifiable music back then to a young up and comer who didn't really know about rock. Whatever. It was just standard rock music and it was like the first thing that I listened to. So it was taking back Sunday. Okay. Um, it was the first like rock music that I ever listened to because that's when I started getting into that shit. Like I started breaking away from R&B uh-huh. when I was like around 16. So like I was, like it was ho- it had good hooks. All the lyrics were memorable. You could jab off out to the song. I was cool with it. All right, so it, it left a, it left a mark on you more from the time in your life and your limited Ta- exposure. We'll say. Yes, yes, time 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 in my life and also um catchiness. A, a lot of the songs were catchy. So like basically like throughout the album, like so just great solid pop rock writing. Basically. So besides that, it has a soft spot in your heart. Did it really make much of an impression on you? Uh nah, not really. As far as like musically, like how much did it teach me? Yeah, it it taught me to have more hooks because they the, those songs have a good amount of hooks. Yeah, hooks on hooks on hooks. They just got more. They got hooks on top of hooks. Like that's anything point. about that album you could bring into your music now? What would it be? Um, that I can bring in. Not, I think not to say that you consciously reference it, but no, I I would think like uh basically um. Like the element of of having more hooks within a song. I don't I don't know if I would use that often, but I would say like I would use having more hooks. And so more of a not a pop songwriting, just the catchiness. Yeah. Like, like have just have bring people in, bring people in, bring like constantly. In. Yeah. So you're not like in a cave playing a banjo. Like yes. You want to strive for larger audience. Of course. Absolutely. Of course. All right. Um, favorite song. Favorite song over there, Miami. I got you. Remember the meme. Miami, Miami, Miami. Fuck it. And does that make them proto LMFAO? Co- no, no, no. Remember, we had yellow card. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they just broke up like a year ago. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. They got back together. The fu- what the fuck were they doing for this long? Didn't they come out like 2007 or some shit? Even before that? Dude. How long was fucking Yellow Card? A long while. Yeah. 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 Yeah.